In this video, we want to take a look at performing a three datum alignment. So uh, we're going to start with a scan cloud, which we've already aligned to our CAD nominal. So you can see the CAD is there and we're already aligned to it. Uh, in this case, you, we've aligned using a cloud to CAD alignment, which is performed just by right clicking on the cloud and selecting align to CAD. You could also choose a quick align uh, using probe points. Either way, it's a really fast and accurate way to get aligned from your uh, uh, measured data into your CAD nominal. So now that we're aligned, what we'd like to do is create a uh, three datum alignment and um, execute that alignment. So first of all, anytime we're creating uh, features such as planes or frames, we want to use the features tab. And really, the majority of our time in Spatial Analyzer ribbons bar is spent between our home tab and our features tab. So just to begin with, before we create our frame, we need to tell SA a little bit about um, what our situation is. So in this case, we do have a CAD. And what we want to tell it is that we want to build um, the nominals from the CAD. So we're going to extract nominals from CAD. And then also our data association, we're just going to leave it as placeholder for right now. Additionally, if you'd like to give each of your features a name, you can click right up in this uh, text box and type the name in. And then as your feature is created, uh, it would apply that name to it. So we're going to start with building a frame. I'm going to select the frame relationship in the, as a new feature. And it gives us a really quick frame wizard dialog here so we can easily select the data that we want to use for our frame. I'm going to use um, uh, for our primary axis is going to be Z. We'll select object and we can make that object from the CAD in multiple different ways. In this case, we'll be using plane from CAD. So I'll select there. Secondary object is the exact same thing, make plane from CAD, and we'll use this edge here. Then finally, um, setting those two planes as our primary and secondary um, sets the orientation of our, our new frame. Uh, we just need to tell it where we want the origin to be. So I'll select um, from origin, I'll do select point, and I want to make that point from the intersection of three planes. So I'll do that, pick this side plane, the top plane, and the bottom plane. So now we've got our new nominal frame construction with the origin there. Um, and I just want to reverse my x-axis so that it aligns a little bit better with my part and makes all of my um, x, y, z's in the positive um, x, y plane. So that's our nominal frame creation. We'll just hit accept there. And then you can see as we created that nominal frame, um, it created placeholders in our inspection bar for the three planes that we need to measure. So at this point, you could actually go in, you could probe those planes, you could um, scan into those planes. Uh, but for our purposes, we've already got our scan data here. So we'll just go ahead and auto filter. So I'm going to select the auto filter command from the features tab. And I'm going to add these three relationships to that auto filter. If I expand that, you can see the three relationships there. And I'm also going to add this input cloud. Then all we've got to do is just hit the auto filter button. And you can see that SA is fi filtering out the scan data and putting it into the appropriate relationships. And now you can see that we've got two frames here. We've got one measured frame and one working frame, uh, one nominal frame. So if I go back to that frame relationship, you can see that based on our initial orientation or alignment, we've got some deviations in our frame to frame between two and 15 thousandths, um, especially in Z. Uh, and then in order to align these two frames together, uh, a really quick way to do that is to just right click on the relationship and select execute alignment. So once we do that, you see that our frame deviations will update and out now all of those deltas are zero. And now we are in our new alignment where those two frames, it's kind of difficult to see, but those two frames are perfectly aligned to each other. And all of our data has updated simultaneously with that new frame alignment based on our new instrument location. So that's just a really quick and easy way to grab three datums, um, filter out your data to them, and perform a new type of alignment.